So today we're planting seeds in the garden. This is one of my favorite things to do this time of year. And it's so exciting and optimistic and also pretty simple. So the amazing thing about seeds is that they're actually alive. You get all these beautiful packages of seeds in the mail and there's all these beautiful seeds in them. And in those seeds is the potential for a plant. So seeds are in a dehydrated state, so they don't have any water in them. That's why they can live uh, on your shelf in an envelope. That's why they can be mailed from place to place. But seeds actually are respiring a little bit. They're actually still alive. They're still in a state that is waiting for the right conditions. So those conditions include water and air, and then also the right environment. So the environment is something to grow in where they can grow towards the sun also has to be the right temperature for them to germinate. So the seed will grow at that point. First it will grow a root and the root will go down into the soil and anchor it and start absorbing more water. And then after the root forms, the seed will grow a leaf. And first you'll see cotyledons. Those are called seed leaves because they're actually inside the seed. And once the first true leaves and the second true leaves are emerging, then you need photosynthesis and you're gonna need some nutrients that it's gonna get from your soil. So we've got a couple different kinds of seeds here that we're going to plant today. We're going to plant some beans and peas and some carrot and summer savory. So let's get to it. For the beans and peas, I'm going to plant them in furrows. And I've just added compost to the surface of the soil, and then I'm going to plant straight into it. So for the beans, you want to plant them the right way up. So with beans and peas, there actually is a right way up. You can see that little divot on the bottom. That's where the root is going to grow out of first. So I want to plant that facing down. You can look to your seed package or information in the seed catalog about how far apart to plant them. But generally, I plant them a little bit closer because I'm doing things on a smaller scale in these raised beds. So there's some beans. And then I'm going to cover them up a little bit with soil. Then for the peas, I'm just going to go make it a little bit less. The general rule for how deep to plant your seeds is you want to plant them twice as deep as they are big. So in most large seeds like beans and peas, that means planting them about an inch underground. Then I'm going to put in these plant labels and make sure I know where they are. And then they're planted. So how do I tell how long should they take to come up? Big seeds, because they have a lot of energy in there, they usually come up pretty quick. So I'd say within a week, because it's early in the season, I'd give it maybe a little bit longer, a week and a half, two weeks. Uh, and you'll see it coming up very obviously. So next I'm gonna plant some carrot seeds. So I'm gonna use this piece of shingle, but you could use a rake or uh, anything long and straight just to make some little furrows in here. And again, all the spacing of the rows is going to be different depending on what you're planting. So for the carrot seeds, they're quite small and I'm just gonna plant them one by one to the best of my ability in these rows. So I'll just start halfway through here to show you. When you are watching your seeds germinate, sometimes lots of weeds germinate at the same time, especially early in the year if you've turned your soil and there's a lot of weeds in there from uh, previous years. So planting things in a row is always a really good way to tell if the plant that you intended to plant is coming up because you'll see those seeds germinating around the same time. Sometimes one or two seeds will germinate before the others. For these, I just wanna cover them very lightly. I'm just gonna use some potting mix for this. So this is just some peat-based potting mix that I had around and I'm just going to sprinkle that just a little bit above where I put the seeds down. That's going to also show me where the rows are. And so now usually I would water the seeds just to make sure that they have enough moisture but it's about to rain today and it's going to rain all night so I'm not going to bother them right now. Um, as well, you can soak some seeds. You don't soak seeds as small as carrots, but something bigger like uh, beans or peas you can soak. But knowing that we're gonna get a lot of rain and I'm planting into wet soil because it was raining yesterday, I'm gonna just forego the soaking stage for now. And yeah, so it's as simple as that. And then the last one I'm gonna do is some summer savory. So summer savory is an awesome herb uh, it's an annual herb and you can see the seeds are quite small. They look almost like um, basil seeds. Some seeds you'll see are even like almost like a fine powder. 
Um, so for these seeds, it's really difficult to pick just one or two up. So what I do is I'll plant these more in a block. So I've got some green onions that actually overwintered underneath the mulch that was uh, on the surface. So I'm just going to sort of take an area here and I'm just going to sprinkle some summer savory in that area. And then I'm going to label it so I remember that it's there. And actually this is going to be nice because as I pull up these green onions, the summer savory is going to be left behind. So there you go. Planting seeds can be as simple as that. You can spend a lot of time thinking about it, planning it, overanalyzing it, but you can also just throw some seeds in the soil, put something on top, make sure it has enough water, and wait and see what happens.